New at noon, the man accused of getting into a shootout with police at a Colerain Township Kroger finally makes his first court appearance. WCPO 90s reporter Allie Kramer was in the courtroom and has the latest on this case. It took Joseph Van Neeman almost two weeks to walk into this courtroom because he was in the hospital recovering from being shot in the eye during that exchange of gunfire with police. And that injury was apparent when Van Neeman appeared before Judge Leslie Giz this morning. Van Neeman pleading not guilty to numerous charges, including attempted murder, felonious assault, and inducing panic. Unprovoked, um, the defendant took a shooting stance, pulled a concealed weapon, pointed it straight at a uniformed police officer. As a result of that, the officer did pull his gun. A gun battle ensued. The defendant did fire his weapon at uniformed police officers. It was a combination of body camera video from those Coleraine Township offices and surveillance video from inside Kroger showing the chase and then that exchange of gunfire between Van Neeman and police. You can even see Van Neeman taking cover in the store before police managed to subdue him, a bullet hitting him in that right eye. That's ultimately what gave police their moment to move in, get Van Neeman's weapon and secure the scene. Hamilton County Prosecutor Melissa Powers said last week that the officers who shot Van Neeman will not be charged. Van Neeman is now being held on a million dollar bond. For now, reporting downtown, Allie Kramer, WCPO 9 News.